Hello? Police? Uh, can you send someone over? There's like a gang of thugs looking at me and they're like taunting me right now. I don't know what they're doing. They're just, they're just weird. They're trying to drive a car, but there's no car. What do you mean, am I sure it's not stock footage? Story blocks? What story blocks? It's the ultimate stock footage site to download 4K and HD videos, photos, sound effects, and even After Effects and Premiere Pro templates. Why, why are you telling me this? Oh, look, now they're doing things. They're doing things. Wait, what? They have affordable subscription plans where you can have unlimited downloads of their one plus million stock footage library? Oh, that does sound pretty good. Oh, oh my gosh. Sorry, they, they came up pretty close to me and it freaked me out. Too close, guys, come on, social distancing. Sorry? Just simply type in whatever I'm looking for or browse through their library, and then I can download whatever clip I want? It does sound pretty easy. Tell people to sign up using the link below. That's a weird request, but okay, sure. So I guess it's just stock footage and nothing more? All right, so I guess we're good. Okay, you too, bye. Hmm. No! Jeez, oh, guys, come on. Thanks, Storyblocks, for sponsoring this video. Oh man, mimes are weird. So for the past couple of weeks, I've been using Escinatone as my main picture profile on my Sony a7S III. I have been loving it because the footage that comes straight out of the camera looks so good that you don't have to do much color correcting or color grading. Now, for the record, I don't think Escinatone is better than S-Log3. S-Log3 still has better dynamic range, and for client work, I'm going to use S-Log3. But for YouTube videos and smaller projects, I'm gonna use Escinatone 3 because... <laughs> I combined S-Cinetone with S-Log3. So in this video, I'm just gonna show you how I use S-Cinetone, how I set it up in my camera, how to expose for S-Cinetone, and how to color correct and color grade S-Cinetone in post. And believe me, you don't have to do much at all. Okay, I forgot to bring a filter. Oh well. All right, we settled. Great. So to use S-Cinetone in your A7S III, just go to your picture profile menu and go down to PP11. That is the S-Cinetone picture profile. Now you can select this and just start shooting an S-Cinetone right off the bat, but I don't really like the default settings. In fact, I think it looks too sharp and a little too faked. So what I do, I just go to my PP11 settings, go down to details and lower the sharpness down to negative seven. And that way your footage doesn't look too sharp. It looks a little more natural. And if you want to sharpen it, then you can always do so in post. All right, so now to expose for S-Cinetone. All I have to do is just expose it right. Just make sure it's exposed where it looks natural, and then also watch out for the highlights. And that's it, that's all you have to do, it's that easy. Now I'm not sure if this is the best way to expose properly, but I like using the exposure values on the bottom of your camera screen. I'm gonna bring up my ZV-1 so I can show you. So there are four number values in the bottom of the screen. The first one is the shutter speed, the next one is your aperture or f-stop, the third one is the exposure value, that's what we're gonna be looking at, and the last value is your ISO. So to expose properly for a cinetone, just make sure that exposure value number hits zero or maybe negative 0.3. You don't wanna go over than that because then you might be clipping and you might lose some of the data in the highlights. And so for me to expose properly for a cinetone, I just try to keep that number down to zero if I can. So up close is this number right over there that number right there. And as far as base ISOs goes, you wanna stick with ISO 100 or ISO 2000. If you try to use ISO 1600, it might look a little too noisy. And so if you need to go that high, then bump it up to ISO 2000. All right, so now that we know how to set up s -Cinetone in our cameras, how to expose for s -Cinetone, I'm just gonna shoot some random examples of s -Cinetone, s S-Log3, and even some shots without using any picture profiles at all. All right, here's s -Cinetone. All right, and this is S-Log3. All right, so now I've turned off all picture profiles, except that I'm using the creative style neutral. All right, here we go. All right, so now time to color correct and color grade s cinetone footage in post. So for this example, I'll be using Premiere Pro, but you can use whatever editor that you are currently using because the same rules will apply for all of them. So for this clip, the highlights do look a little harsh. And that's why when I film an s cinetone I never go above zero with the exposure values. You almost maybe want to underexpose it a bit. But to fix this, I just go to the basic correction panel, bring down the highlights to about over here, bring down the white levels just a bit, and then go down to the color wheel section and bring down the highlights a little bit more, the midtones a little bit more, and then to punch it up, I just bring down the shadows. And that's it. 
pretty easy. Obviously make sure that your white balance is correct and if you want you can even add an S curve to add that natural contrast. But for the most part I just use the basic correction panel and the color wheels panel to color correct my S in a tone footage. And I'm usually pretty happy with those results. And then to color grade, you can do it manually if you want, but I like using LUTs. And so we're gonna use my teal and orange LUT from my Summer Vibes LUT pack. Apply the LUT by using the Creative tab, lower the intensity to about over here. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. And boom, and that's how I color correct and color grade s tone footage. So now the pros and cons of s tone Well, pros, uh, it saves time in posts. Like you don't have to do much color correcting or color grading as you saw in the example. So that's definitely a pro. Another pro is that if you have to deliver content to a client like right away, then use s -Cinetone. And then when you're done shooting, you can just offload your footage onto your client's hard drive or computer and off they go. And the last good thing about s -Cinetone is that the overall tonal look looks really soft and cinematic and the skin tones look amazing. Sony did all of us A7S3 users such a solid by incorporating s -Cinetone as another picture profile. It's still not as good as S-Log3, mainly in the dynamic range area, but if you want your footage to look good straight out of the camera and you don't want to mess with color correcting or color grading too much in post, then s -Cinetone is your best bet. As far as cons goes, well, s -Cinetone doesn't have as much dynamic range range as S-Log3. So if you're shooting something that requires your camera to capture the data in the highlights, then definitely stick with S-Log2 or S-Log3. It's still not as bad as when the picture profile is turned off, like that has the worst dynamic range. S-Cinetone is better than not using any picture profiles at all because it is softer on the highlights. In fact, S-Cinetone is very similar to using Cine4. You guys remember that? Like when I had the A6500 and A6300, I shot using Cine4. Was that, was that PP4? I don't remember. But the Cine4 picture profile was a great profile to use. It still is a great profile to use. I mean, just like s -Cinetone, the footage looks pretty good straight out of the camera. It's just not as good as retaining the highlights as well as s -Cinetone. So I guess what I'm trying to say is that s -Cinetone is a better version of Cine4, except the skin tones look more accurate, has a softer overall tonal look, and is more forgiving in the highlights. So if you've shot with Cine4, then you know what to expect with Cine4 footage. It's just that s -Cinetone is a better version of that. And that's pretty much it. That is s Cinetone on the A7S III. Super easy to use, easy to expose, and really easy to color correct and color grade in post. Definitely gonna be my main picture profile for all my YouTube videos now. All right, my nerds, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, thanks for hanging out. Thank you, Storyblocks, for sponsoring this video. If you wanna sign up to Storyblocks, download some amazing stock footage, then make sure to click the link down below. Watch out for those mimes, though. I don't trust mimes. All right, guys, I'm out. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.